you not only miss once, but you miss three times. And we've set a precedent, and we can't allow the precedent to just be stepped on and stepped over. But until then, Fernando is now going to be in. You're now on probation, and you're now the ultra. First of all, we want to commend you on the incredible job you've done as an alternate. You've stepped up your game. We've noticed in all the rehearsals, you were ready to jump in, and that's been great, so we really appreciate that. We also set certain rules in place where dancers were not allowed to miss their regularly scheduled classes. Unfortunately, one of the dancers did miss multiple days, and because of that, that dancer has now been demoted. So we are gonna move you up into the group, which means that in the next competition, you are gonna be performing with the team. That's great. <laughs> now it's your turn to step it up. Awesome. We're happy for you. Thank you. Yeah. Great. Job for you to lead. We wanted to start this conversation first by thanking you everybody again for your hard work, but also letting you know. Unfortunately, one of our team members, Matt, made the choice to miss too many classes. And so we've put Matt on probation, and he is now the alternate. Fernando has been moved forward into. We're very excited. We're happy to announce that he has been moved forward into the full position. Matias did get moved to an alternate, sadly. Um, I think that he has a lot of potential, but he did miss a lot of classes. Fernando is a very hard worker, so they both deserve the spot, but Fernando just deserved it a little bit more. Exciting news. We know our next competition. We're going to go to Beyond the Stars. Yay. All right. Very exciting. And this time we're going to do two group numbers. And since it's Valentine's Day, my piece is going to be called The Love Piece for now. And it is sung by our very own elite member. Yeah. Our, our triple threat, if we could say. I've been writing songs for a while. Maddie listened to it, and then she liked it. She wanted to choreograph to it. Still Mr. Ball is the one who saw it. He felt compelled to choreograph to it. So now we're doing a choreographed piece on it, which is pretty exciting for me. I thought it'd be nice, Harrison, before we played the song. Do you want to talk about it? Everybody has like some type of heartbreak, really, in life. So whether it's like actual love, like physical love, or you know, like passing a loved one, but it was just more of like all these different things of heartbreak that you feel in life, and just a way of maybe expressing that through a song. The way I interpreted the song, since we're going to be doing a number to it, I kind of saw not a specific person as well. There's kind of like three chapters to the song, and. For specifically for this group number, we're gonna be looking for three girls to play, so to speak, the solos, all right? And I will say you're not guaranteed, even though it's your song, you're not guaranteed the, the heart throb lead man single. It's amazing because someone that's part of Joffrey Elite produced this song for us and we're dancing to it. So I think it's just a huge collaboration of us all together and creating this amazing piece about like love and heartbreak and it's an exciting dance for sure. One, two, three. One, two, three. Poof. Good, awesome. Right here, Amanda keeps saying it. Boom. Go girls. Boys. When we were at the studio the other day, I was personally blown away by Neve. I mean, she took her dancing to a whole nother level. I already saw that hunger and that need and that desire to be in the front of the stage. I'm thinking we try it out today. Give her a chance. Cool, but watch your legs. Gorgeous. Me being the alternate, I do want to get bumped up. Um, I emote when I'm dancing, and I'm hoping that I can prove to them that I am mature enough to dance a piece like this. Six, one, two, seven. Take your time. I'd love to be one of the three girls because I love telling stories on stage. 
it's like my favorite thing. <laughs> so, and I wouldn't mind pretending that I'm in love with someone. Mr. Prescott and I have been talking. We're really pleased so far with the way Neve and Harrison are working together. So we're, we're not 100%, but I'd say we're leaning towards keeping you guys as the first solo. Talk about rookie, super rookie at 13, right? So the pressure's really on. There's two more solos with the ladies. Mr. Prescott and I are gonna take some time right now, kind of talk about things. We should have some answers, some more answers for you. Part of the process today was pairing up different dancers for these different potatas that will be happening. Mr. Bod, this is his choreography, but he does not yet know who his soloists are going to be. We don't know who's going to do it, but we're going to spend some time right now and decide. Here we go. Next week on Joffrey Elite. Today we have to decide who's doing the second potato with Harrison and who's doing the third potato. Point those feet, Madison. I'm just kind of anxious to see how it ends up 